just got a package in the mail today. So a month or so ago, I stumbled across this website that sells like boxed lots of jewelry and they sell regular jewelry and they have a bunch of different sellers um, that they sell from. Some of them are auctions, like government auctions. Um, and I watched it for a while to see sort of what stuff ended up selling for in the end. And a couple of times I saw stuff that looked like it might be good, um, but I couldn't tell. So there was an auction and I saw some stuff I thought might be all right. So I took a chance and I bid on it and it's arrived today. So I thought I would open it up with you and see if I made a good decision or if I just completely wasted my money. So here we go. Oops, having a hard time getting it open. I probably made an error in decision in grabbing these tiny little scissors. I have a big pair of scissors over here, I just saw them. But... Yeah. All right, here we go. So a lot of it just looked like nonsense. I mean, like serious nonsense. And I will pop up a picture of what it all looks like um, on the on the website before I bought it. Okay, so. Um, there was a lot of nonsense, like I said. So I believe that that is a tongue ring. There are a bunch of those <clears throat> that I could see in the picture, right? Lots of, if anybody needs, or is that a belly button ring? I'm not real sure. That might be a belly button ring. If anybody needs a belly button ring, I think I have about 100 of them now. And then there was some stuff that looked like, it was probably pretty decent, like this which was kind of on its side, but I could see the clasp and the clasp look, look, looked pretty good. There was this guy that was also laying on its side that looked pretty good. And then there was this necklace, which looked like it was probably gonna be nonsense. And here looking at it, oh, actually it says 18K. Kind of hard to believe, but does say it right there. I'm gonna, um, I have a tester. Um, let me see if I can get close enough for you to see it. Mm, it's not really participating. Anyway, on the side of the, oh, there we go. On the side of this lobster claw clasp. Pardon my fingernails, I've been painting all day long. Anyway, on the side of this lobster claw clasp, It won't do it. It says 18K. I suppose it looks like it could be 18 carat. Um, I will definitely play around with that. Take a harder look at it. The clasp is broken there. It doesn't say anything on the piece itself. And like I said, I have a tester, so I'm going to test it. Then there was this. I can kind of see the side of it. I could see that clasp. Clasp looked really good, but again, I'm gonna show you the picture and why I took a chance on it. There is something on there. And sorry, I know I'm flopping it around awfully fast on you here. I actually had one that looked a lot like this and the mark was right there on the tongue. I'm gonna have to go grab my loop and see if I can find if it says anything, but like I said, sorry, there's a little mark right there. I don't have any idea what it says though, but I'm going to figure it out and I'll let you know. There's this necklace here. looks like something spilled on it or something. Ah, uh, that one says 24 karat. G, it's not GF, G something. I think that's a stain. 
I don't know that that's tarnished. I think something got poured on that. I've got some testing in my future I can see. I'm gonna have to test all these and see what they actually are. All right, what else? Uh, some earrings. I don't know if they just put all this stuff on here. So I'm gonna really have to go through these earrings and check them out. There is a Southland Conference 2004 ring here. Looks like it's got some kind of marks in it. Let's see if I can just read it. I can't. And then here is another high school ring. Oh, it's got a lot of marks. Bow for something GFC. I, I think that's who makes the class ring. Um, you know, sometimes class rings, and I, I've had them in some other stuff. Sometimes class rings are gold filled, sometimes they're gold. It depends on how new or how old they are um, as to whether or not they might actually be something. This one actually is inscribed something. I'm gonna have to take a much better look at it. Oh, yikes. Look at it. Hopefully I won't break it. Um, oh, transformer earrings, that's a plus. Another, I don't know, some kind of rings there. There's a, oh, that's adorable. Look how funky that little guy is. It's like a cute little um, horsey charm bracelet. That's super cute. It says New York NYC. Um, there's a ring here. That's got a lot of corrosion on it. It is actually marked something in there. So I'll take a look at it and let you know. It looks like maybe it's got like a sterling silver wash on it. This guy, little heart here. It says mom, very cute. Oh, it's a locket, how oh, fun. And it's got some more, oh, it's sterling silver. Interesting. So that's not bad. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have to test everything. At the very least, it was really fun opening it all up. I mean, look at all this funky stuff. I think I paid with um, shipping. It ended up costing me like $25. Okay, so that one has some initials, but I can't really read it. That says 18K, but it does not look or smell like 18 karat. So, this is a magnet. I'm gonna do the magnet test on some of these guys and let's see if it's just a quick little, oh, that one we knew was definitely not anything, but it's still, we know it's not anything. If I can get it off there. So nothing's magnetic. Ooh, that one might be magnetic. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So this guy is magnetic. So we can automatically discount that one. So that must have been corrosion. So that one's marked that it's gold. And that GB must have been like gold, some sort of gold fill on it or something. It's slightly magnetic, but magnetic all the same. This guy is not magnetic at all. Oh, is it slightly magnetic too? There it is. Is it? Yeah. Very slightly. Sometimes gold does have some slight magnetism. I'm gonna have to Depends on what it's cut with. I'm gonna have to definitely double check that one. That one's not at all. Not at all. That guy shouldn't be, nope. That one, yeah, it's corroded all over it, which I knew because I looked at it, so. 
I knew that one was gonna suck. All right, so this one, we might have some gold, but I don't know for sure. So I got my diamond tester, because they look like diamonds, right? Yeah, definitely not magnetic on that one. Let's see. Let's see if they're done. I doubt it, but we're gonna check. So, hmm, they would be 0.6 to 0.5. It is 30 degrees Celsius, so we're gonna stick this guy on five. You gotta put your finger on here and then you put it on the stone. And if something registers, then it's a diamond. Oh, that's the metal. All right, not moving enough for it to be anything real. It's moving one, so it may not be glass, maybe like sapphire, I'm not sure. It's definitely not a diamond. All right, and step three, gold test, four, step four. Okay, so I'm testing the two pieces that I had that I thought um, might be gold. Um, I'm just getting, Together in my testing kit. And then you guys look at to see if it's gold or not with me. Who knows? I'm gonna turn it on. Oops. And it's on. Put my liquid in here. All right, I don't know if you can see that one. Oops, I'll try one more time. Okay, so this is the one I wasn't sure about. I put it on there. I turned my thingy on here. And that was not gold. So I didn't really think that one was because it had some magnetism. But it turns out it was definitely not. All right. I'm going to try this next one. So I put the clip on here. I think I'll do it at the clasp because that'll give me a little bit more space to do it on. I clean it with my eraser here to get the funk off. And I'm going to do a whole video on my gold and diamond tester and I'm going to stick an affiliate link in here for you just in case you decide you want to buy one if you're buying enough stuff that you feel like you need to test some things which happens pretty quickly um, please click on that affiliate link it helps me to be able to do these videos for y'all all right sorry this thing's a little tricky all right so I got my liquid on here 
I get it close to my clip, but I don't touch my clip. Ooh, I hold it up against this. And I got a knot gold on that one too. I'll try that one more time. One more spot. Not gold. So everything I got out of this little doohickey here was a bust out of my little box. Except for the one sterling silver uh, pendant which I have right here. If y'all remember the sterling silver pendant, that is authentic, but the other couple of things here were not. So I'm thinking that buying a boxed lot is probably not for me. Thank you guys for checking me out again. Uh, I'm gonna have a subscribe button up here and a link for another video. So check out my stuff, make sure you subscribe. Also, you can check me out at Craig Owen Alice and The Modern Den on both Etsy and Instagram.